So, this is elastic collision. Elastic collision is kinetic energy and conserve momentum. Conserve. But in elastic collision, kinetic energy is not conserved. Only the linear momentum is conserved. After collision, the two objects move a system or common velocity. So, what happens to this kinetic energy? There will be definitely there will be a loss of kinetic energy. The loss of kinetic energy is the energy in heat energy or sound energy convert. So, in inelastic collision, there are two objects of masses M1 and M2. They are traveling with initial velocities U1 and E2. That is before collision. After collision, the random array system, the random object of M1 and M2, they will travel with the common velocity V. So, this is what will happen in the inelastic collision. First, we will see what happens to the momentum, total momentum before and after collision. So, total momentum before collision. Total momentum before collision is equal to momentum formula in M1 U1 plus M2 U2 and total momentum after collision is equal to. If we now going to make one velocity or travel, this will act as a system. So M1 plus M2 into V. By law of conservation of linear momentum, we know that total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. So M1 U1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 plus m2 into v so in the v in the final velocity of the system number work in the velocity final velocity the calculate pannu. that is after collision and the system and the object in the velocity order travel pannadu. that is given by v is equal to now m1 u1 plus m2 u2 by m1 plus m2 this will be the final velocity of the object but here, if the second object is at rest, and the object rest layer come the last in I do zero work ma the second object na either the in the in the object m2 and the rest layer kana up the velocity irkadalia up a u2 equal to zero u2 zero action in the term pulla cancel I do but what happens to the velocity of the system after collision v equal to m1 u1 by m1 plus m2 is the equation. So by this I can calculate the Final velocity provided the second object is at rest. Rest layer in the equation. Rest layer in you will go for this equation. If the rest layer come we will see how will be the kinetic energy before collision and kinetic energy after collision. So, kinetic energy before collision, I will take it as Ek1 is given by the formula of m1 u1 square before collision. For object, random air clear half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square random air kumodu kinetic energy before collision is given by half u m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square na eludunu ana u2 inna edichu zero illiya appo idu zero ana idu fulla zero vaidum so i will be having only half m1 u1 square that is the kinetic energy before collision appo after collision what is the kinetic energy let it be ek2 it is given by half m1 plus m2 into v square so after collision this kinetic energy is given by half m1 v1 half m1 plus m2 into v square. Now we will see the ratio of the The kinetic energy is not conserved. This is inelastic collision. So if we take the ratio between these two ek2 by ek1 that is kinetic energy before and after is equal to half of cancel and m1 plus m2 v square by m1 u1 square ek2 by ek1 half half random cancel out. remaining is the in the v irukkaliya in the v ke badala substitute pannalama m1 u1 by m1 plus m2 the whole square so if i substitute that v value here m1 plus m2 in v ke badala na substitute panna porom idu substitute panna porom ana v square appo ellathiyume ni square pannanum it will become m1 square u1 square by inga already or m1 u1 square into m1 plus m2 the whole square v value na m1 u1 by m1 plus m2 square pannum bodu ellama square pannidrom ipa cancel panna m1 or m1 or m1 cancel u1 square u1 square cancel aidum inga m1 or m1 plus m2 cancel aidum remaining numerator la irukkadhu ore ore m1 so remaining is m1 by inga m1 inga ore onnu dhaan cancel a irukku remain numerator la irukkadhu m1 inga denominator la irukkadhu m1 plus m2 that's all we have so this ek2 this ratio by ek1 path 
mass of the first object lendu or higher value ne enna pandra divide pandra so the answer will be always less than 1 so here if i take this ratio between these two kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to initial kinetic energy final kinetic energy one ah irundhadha na enak inna vandirukona m1 by m1 vandirukona but inga inna vandirukku enak m1 by m1 plus m2 so mass of the or object avada higher value vachu divide pannumbodhu value inna one ah vida kammiya da varum so the ratio between these two that is after kinetic after collision the kinetic energy um before collision kinetic energy um kammiya da irukku appo inna adichu inna inelastic collision that will be loss of kinetic energy in therinjiruchu appo after collision inna before collision avada after collision the kinetic energy what happens it will be less than the kinetic energy before collision so kinetic energy after collision will be less than the kinetic energy before collision appo the loss of kinetic energy enna maariduchu heat energy avo sound energy convert aayiduchu this type of collision we call it as a inelastic collision so kinetic energy is not conserved in an inelastic collision but momentum as linear momentum is alone conserved idhilanda enna kandupidikiro the final velocity we are going to calculate using this law of conservation of linear momentum and kinetic energy